Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless. And this is a quick beginner's tutorial. There's been a lot of confusion. I was also confused in the beginning. I came from Photoshop, and there are other graphic programs that do not use the wording. So the question I keep getting asked, and the confusion I had in the beginning is, what is a persona? Well, Affinity Photo, I wish they wouldn't have used the word persona because it does confuse people. But once you understand what it means, then you'll get, then it'll be fine. So for example, I just pulled in this photo from stock photos. It doesn't matter what photo. This is just to show an example. First, let me duplicate this image. So let's choose that. I'm going to turn off the one below and I am going to go to the liquify persona. Now in Photoshop, you would have to go to filters and then liquify. It's just a menu item. And the reason it's just a menu item is just like when we do, let's go down here. If I decide here to do uh, levels, another window opens up just like this. So in Photoshop, the same thing happens. A, a separate window opens up and you can do things with that window. So I'm going to undo that or delete it actually. But the difference is in Prasanna, you never leave the window. So if, if I select that and I go to liquify, watch my toolbars here. But before I go to liquify, I really should have rasterized it because they want a rasterized image with just pixels. But if you forget and I click liquify, it'll say, please select pixel layer. So I am going to right click and say rasterize, which makes it a pixel layer now. And now I can go to liquify and again watch the tools the window i never left the window this is not a separate window if i move this it's still the same affinity photo window and then i can just uh, do whatever i want with liquify i can just like take this guy and make him <laughs> make him a little strange like that and then i could say apply or i can even do this i can say i don't want so much or i want a lot this is not a liquify tutorial. I could do that another time, but you could do a lot of fun things with liquify, or you can actually do fine things like if someone has some a little bit of cheek that was not right and you wanted to push it in a little, that's what models do. Um, you can just fix any kind of photo. But I'm going to just hit apply. And so now that's the photo, that's the original, and this is the one underneath. That's the original, and that's what happened. But Liquify, notice when we hit Apply, our tools are back. We never, ever left this screen, which is wonderful. It's not an extra screen. And that's what's so fluid about uh, uh, Affinity Photo. I could do the same thing in, let's see what else, in Develop Persona is the same as Adobe Raw. When you click, when you try to go to open Adobe Raw, which is also, I believe, under Filters, if I'm remembering correctly, another window opens up. But in here, I can just go to develop persona. And now my everything is right here. Again, this is not a tutorial on this is my lens correction. This is not a tutorial on any of this stuff. But I just want you to see the basics. I can change the exposure. I can use lower the brightness, I could do everything. And that's the same as what Adobe has. They call it Adobe Raw, different than Lightroom. Now, everyone says, why doesn't this work like Lightroom? Well, Photoshop doesn't work like Lightroom. Lightroom is a separate program that you can put your photos in, and you can use Lightroom with Affinity Photo. So I'm just going to say develop, which means it's now bringing you back the tools. You see that? We never left a window. Um, I'm going to hit one, another persona here is tone mapping and tone mapping you can pull down you can do different ones and you can download certain ones from different places and you just basically it's just giving you nice tones just like that there's some fun things you can do with it and again this is not a tutorial on tone mapping you don't have to follow exactly what this is you can change this a little bit and and change the saturation and do different kinds of fun things so let me leave that and I'll say apply. But before I say apply, remember, this is this we never left the main window. There is no window behind this. 
So it's just changing the tools that you use, and I'll say apply. See, with the same window, never left it, just the tools were changed, which is wonderful. And I'm going to give you one more. This is the export persona. Well, people say uh, we can always do file export, and that's true. And that's what I mostly use. But here was one that I found interesting. Like if you're a web designer, I should just get rid of this now. If you're a web designer and you have this photo right here, and that's showing you that layer of photo. But if you drop down the menu, it's showing you that's one time and you can add another one and you can do it twice the size. This is just scaling, but instead of twice the size, I might want a 32 by 32, which is a thumbnail. It's giving me this notice file name has been duplicated so that you don't have the same file name. I can export them all up here. Or I can export one at a time. So let's just do export here. And I'm going to put it on my desktop. It probably gave it two names, to be honest with you. I am not sure. So what I'll do is go to my desktop file, open, and they named it background and background two. So let's open background. And that's the original size. And then I could say file open. And background two, you could rename them, but look at that. And why does it look so pixelated? Because I'll go to the original size and they made it a 32 by 32 icon. So I'm going to close those two up, close and close. And then we're back to this one. Now, remember, we're there. We're back in this persona, but we go back to photo. And there we are. Persona means personality, kind of. So what they're saying is this window stays the same but the tools change. It has a different personality to do different things. That's the way I think about it. It was so confusing to me when I first started looking at tutorials in Affinity Photo because Photoshop doesn't have Persona and neither does GIMP or anything else. They all just go up to a menu and say filter and whatever it is. But the fact that Affinity Photo does not add a new window, which I think is wonderful. In fact, if you have all three Affinity Photo programs, you can bounce from one to the other without changing your window. And that's called Studio Link when you do that. It's the same thing. It's a persona. So I hope this clears this up from people who have switched from other graphic programs to Affinity Photo. And if you found this tutorial useful, please click like and subscribe and have a great day. Thank you. Bye.